If you see the application does not work at checkout, this video helps you to troubleshoot the application. So with startup, the first point required is enable the CCS. CCS is stands for custom calculated shipping and it is required part of the Shopify. If you have a advanced plan, then not an issue, it defaults comes. And if you want to add a CCS in your store, then you need to convert your billing cycle to annual or another option is to pay additional $20. So the main affordable option is number two, convert your billing cycle to annual and even you will get 10% discount and even it will not automatically out enable the CCS, but you have to contact our Shopify live chat support team and they will do within 5 to 10 minutes. Now let's see if you have enabled the CCS. To check, go to Shopify settings, shipping and delivery and click on the manage. In your zone, click add rate button and click use carrier or app calculated rates. Here choose custom zip code based shipping and press done. If you do not see this option, then you will have to enable the CCS. Another thing in the application, please click on the carrier service. If you see a error message here, then it just required enable CCS again. Second thing is Shopify's default setting. So in the Shopify, if you will have a multiple shipping profile, then the best option is to remove this profile. Or if you compulsory need this profile, then you have to click add rate button and same procedure to add our shipping rates provided by application. The third point is you must have enabled the application zone and rate. So in the application, the shipping menu in the settings, we have an option for enable, disable and test mode. So you can choose enable, test mode is required to like first time equal to circle. So if your store is alive, then you can choose the default test mode and you can choose enable if you are just runtime testing and then save it. So in the zone and rates, please check the zone must be enabled and the rate should be enabled. Here I have created one flat rate that is have without any condition, without any zip code, without any production and just a standard shipping and 10 rupees flat tag. Last point that is while you are testing, not just reload the checkout page, but go back to the customer information, change anything like uh, last name, address, phone number, and then continue to shipping address. So here I go to back to address, click the change and continue to ship. Here you will see the application rate from the Shopify and application and again you will see the rates from the Shopify. So you just need to delete the default rate. And please do not disable the or delete the rates here from the uh, application and while editing you must have to enable automatically show the new shipping rates and service. So whenever you update the application, Shopify will show the rates from the application automatically. So another option is for the condition. So when you have a option all and we have many options in the condition, like if you set a quantity greater than or equal to 5 and save, then in this case, uh, if your cart has only one product, then application will not see send the rate. Let me change the address and continue to ship. Here you will see an error because of there is no match condition in the application and no default rate in the Shopify. So, if you increase the item quantity, greater than 5, we will see the rate at checkout. Here. Thank you.